this is just a follow up on my previous video uh, I built this box uh, I motorized my feet and uh, the idea was having like a, uh, I can control my uh, feet independently so and the other thing was like I really wanted uh, the slow feet and the gear sets that coming with the uh, lathe the ratio is not that high so the, f uh, the feet is slightly uh, goes fast on uh, I set up a stepper motor on my lathe and uh, basically it spins the lead screw and with the microcontroller I can simply control to speed if you didn't see the functionality you can uh, go and check my previous video uh, basically what it this does it feeds uh, back and forth for the carriage and also it does a drilling function the drilling function goes uh, slightly forward stop pulls back and forward pulls back forward pulls back forward like this and a grinding function uh, where I, I, I can place two switch at the both side of the carriage and the carriage basically goes back and forth between the that two switch that two switch so and in the same time if I don't need it I can simply slide the belt off and do a manual operation or use the gears at the back of the lathe in this video I'm just gonna talk about uh, the setup and the stepper and the microcontroller things like this but I'd, I wouldn't go too much in details on the wiring of the uh, microcontroller and a stepper drive uh, but there is a link below so you can check it out there is a f uh, PDF file that on connect the wires and what parts do you need for for doing the project and also there is a STL file for the box and also uh, this pulley so if you have a 3d printer you can print it out if you don't have a 3d printer there is other way to go around like you can build your sets of gears or I don't know maybe you're using the chain bicycle chain I don't know is is just a uh, a personal project I mean I'm not sure even if you really want to do that and uh, also about this box it's it's quite uh, tiny is very compact so uh, you can what you can do if if you if you see it's really as you can see it's really small and if you really need a similar box what you can do you can go for a junction box or plastic containers uh, for a bigger size it doesn't have to be uh, like it doesn't have to be exact same as mine uh, the way I designed this is like everything get detached easily so uh, and also uh, it keeps the stock look of the lathe So the first thing I did is just uh, simply a sketch up uh, for the wiring diagram and switch to connect the wires and the switches in the right place so I don't want to keep thinking of it and all and after doing that just uh, simply soldering the wires, parts, switches and upload my codes and just to see if it's function it works and, and then keep continuing part by part just building it up and then I uh, yeah and uh, using data sheet uh, basically to get like a, a specific size of the part an enclosure for for the microcontroller and the switches since it's gonna be on the left, I don't want to be messy, you know. 
good to be have a good to be compact design upload the file and uh, print out the part I mean the box and uh, place my uh, switches and microcontrollers into the box I've uh, covered up the, the stepper wires with the cable sleeves so it looks a lot better like since it's going to be on the lathe is everything is in order again check the functionality of the stepper of the function before I put it on and after everything works okay I uh, just uh, again I went online I took off some data sheet for the belt which uh, for this project I used a GT2 timing belt closed loop and uh, basically designed a pulley for the uh, field screw print the pulley and uh, checked I checked uh, basically the tooth to see if it's uh, completely matched with the belt tooth and then I start to mark the point thread, tap and thread the knob step at the side of the lathe uh, to see what length plate I need to set it up then I cut off this out of the stainless steel sheet and I use the grinder to just get rid of the sharp edges and uh, I marked points for the stepper and also the lathe and I trained those points the stepper it was uh, is like a, a slightly edge at the top so what I've done I uh, designed a piece of uh, plate so when, when I placed uh, my plate at the top of the stepper it be kind of uh, level and then just uh, Simply uh, put the plate on and tie it up. Uh, I placed the stepper on the lathe again, marked two points. And drain those two points. I tap and trade the points, the holes. Put things back on again and uh, just so check the tension on the belt. We design a tensioner. For the belt since the belt was slightly loose and uh, basically the tensioner allows me to kind of adjust the tension on the belt print and again I print those file take off my stepper motor and put put the tensioner on if we, if the tensioner been the same level basically gonna touch the plate so what it what this does this push is basically slightly rise the tensioner and it wouldn't touch the plate 
uh, simply I just placed another washer on the nave and just tied it up There is a, just a problem that I couldn't rectify. It's, it's not a big deal, but um, basically on a drilling mode and a grinding mode, the stepper motor um, changed the direction from clockwise to anti-clockwise or vice versa. Um, basically, if the speed is high, the stepper stalls. So I'm gonna show it to you what it means. So as you can see, it can go faster than this. It can. It's supposed to work like this. Wow. If I go at the full speed it stalls and I don't know if it's something maybe to do with the giving the pulse I, that sent by the microcontroller or stepper drive and um, I'm pretty sure that the stepper can go a lot faster than this but for some reason it keeps stalls and I tried to fix it uh, but I couldn't find uh, a way to do it and if you know why what's the reason I um, appreciate to leave a comment below and uh, let me know I also put the tensioner because I realized this pulley is not perfectly round so it kind of makes a slightly noise because of the tension of the uh, belt so what that spring does it allows the tensioner to adjust itself when it's required so I show it to you basically that was all into it the other stuff uh, files STL files and the codes on the things inverse so you can download it if you want it I also thanks the subscribers uh, for subscribing to my channel it means a lot to me and uh, that's it and thanks for watching see you next time